you can do whatever you want, you can be whoever you want, but the second you start saying you've got period pain and having a period without having a uterus, that's where I draw the line. Sorry, you don't, why would, if you'd ever experienced it for real, I don't know why you would want it or fake having one. I've had one since 12 and a half years old and it's, it has been a wild ride, let me tell you. I wasn't one of the lucky ones, I don't want to be this, you know how women get on a microphone or they're a comedian and all they talk about is their period, but I, I need to say this because this is really starting to piss me off. I don't watch a lot of shit like TikTok, I watch reaction videos sometimes to TikToks because I need to see it through the eyes of someone that can actually make some humour out of it. I think if I were to scroll through an actual TikTok thread alone I would just be so mortified and suffer from secondhand embarrassment and wonder wonder how the hell these people exist whether it's TikTok nurses that are dancing or people giving you bad life advice it's just cringe the other day I saw a reaction video to a woman who was giving advice and you could tell she was barely in her 20s and she's telling other women about how to get a good man, how to get a good relationship. How many have you actually had that lasted over two weeks? Come on. You've just moved out with your friends. You're finally doing your own laundry. I, <laughs> there's nothing you can tell me that I would genuinely learn from. But free speech, you've got a platform. Congratulations. You know, you've got a lot of people following your advice. I just don't think it's that great. And then on the other hand, if she was actually saying something that was usable, you'd wonder, what has this woman been through? How many people have been through her in her teenage years for her to have this wealth of experience that makes sense? So it's lose-lose. And the volume of the ignorance and the deliberate delusion on these platforms is, is something. I'm living, let live, do whatever you want. Just stay out of my way. I don't care. Just get out of my face. You do you. But the last few weeks... I've been shown a lot of people that identify as something other than they are currently and that's fine again you do you but the second you start claiming to have cramps and blood from an orifice that there is absolutely no biological way you could do that unless you were in need of dire medical assistance or unless you were a fully fledged female born into this world with a uterus that is capable of shedding every month you look a little crazy and I do understand I get that some people that have say transitioning they want as much as they can get off the female experience to be as authentic as possible and understand how it feels but because of the way that you've decided to become a female or act female you can't do it the full way I mean at least not yet technology is just not there if you look like a woman and you're presenting as one and for lack of a better term pulling it off in every other aspect you don't need this one you don't want the period live your life okay be beautiful and everything and don't have to worry about staining a white pair of pants at this point it hurts me more than her too because i basically have to give away some personal information but it's something that has plagued my life for the longest time I've only been on this earth 12 and a half years without this thing happening to me every month. Being active, being sporty or doing martial arts or generally just having to perform or anything, it did get in the way. It does get in the way. And I'm not one of the lucky ones that you hear about that just go, oh, ow, my cramps kind of hurt this month. And, oh, I, it, it's kind of light. You know, it sucks. But, yeah, uh-uh. Unfortunately... When my Aunt Flo comes to stay with me for those few days, she is a real bitch. She is barely tolerable. She brings the thunder. She brings the pain. She brings the volume. She is a force to be reckoned with. And something I would not wish on anyone, I do not want my aunt to visit somebody else because that is the kind of person she is. She is not to be messed with. She is violent. She will ruin your life for those few days. And so when I see you guys want something like that to happen to you so much that you have to fake it and pretend, oh, I got cramps, oh, it hurts. You might be on the hormones and everything, you might maybe get some 
PMS symptoms, I guess it's possible, but you're not going to really get the cramps and bleed because cramping comes from the uterus contracting. And whatever hormones you've got going on, you don't have the uterus to connect to it for the hormones to, to squeeze that, to contract and get tighter or looser and try to expel the unused eggs and blood and everything else. So just stop. It's really annoying to see how something that has been the bane of my life just be something that you play with. Enough that you look up videos on how to make fake blood. And there's such a nice girl on YouTube that sort of tells you how to do it. Go and look up how to make blood for independent horror films because that's what it is. It's a freaking horror show. My mind is blown at why you would want to simulate this and play pretend as an adult. Life isn't a game. I'm like the cat, you think this is a motherfucking game? But it's not. So just stop. We get it. You want the female experience. We support you doing that. But a line has to be drawn when it's clear delusion and degeneracy. Please, seek help.